11 rifles, 11 helmets, 11 pairs of boots, 11 dog tags, and the final roll call. Sergeant Jason C. Ramp. David R. Chris Aguilar Jr. A. Estrella. Yule Estrada Rodriguez. Lance Corporal Ryan A. Miller. Eric R. Leakin. Lance Corporal Adam C. Con. Lance Corporal William J. Lucy. Lance Corporal Jose S. Marin Dominguez. Lance Corporal Hatakukak M. Yearby. Solemn reminders of 11 Marines whose lives and sacrifice were honored by fellow Marines and family members during a memorial service presided over by their commander. Regarding the loss of these 11 great young men, we have but one consolation. They perished answering their nation's call. They didn't die like so many other young men are sadly lost in our society today. Instead, they died as American volunteers engaged with an enemy that is absolutely committed to the destruction of our way of life. They took the fight to the Islamic extremists to prevent them from bringing it to our doorstep, just as they did in Washington and in New York. Fighting back the emotion that comes with the loss of a friend, Lance Corporal Brian Cook remembered Corporal Estrada Rodriguez. His ability to make a good thing come out of anything, no matter what it was, he was always there to push on. He assigned something to do, and he wouldn't just let somebody else do it. He'd be right there. And it's just uncanny leadership ability. Just, you know, I just don't know a better Marine to do that. He was always happy. Corporal Rogerio Castillo, another Marine from 3-3, also honored the memory of those Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice by sharing his memories with Rodriguez's mother and father. It's an awesome thing that the Marine Corps makes a memorial like this after coming back from the plane because you get to meet the parents. Like, I'll probably learn to go to Puerto Rico or something, but just bringing the parents over here is just... It's undescribable. It's something real awesome. The Marine Corps, though, so you can meet a family and tell them in person, we're sorry the loss of the son, our friend, a Marine. Unlike memorials that can only be attended by the unit, local friends, and family, money from an anonymous $2 million donation to the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society was used to bring 81 family members to Hawaii for the ceremony. Immediate family members from as far as North Carolina, Texas, and Puerto Rico had a chance to meet and embrace the 3 3 Marines who are with their loved ones in Iraq. I mean, it's just a pleasure being here. And I really want to thank the Marine Corps because without them, we wouldn't be here. And again, without them now, we're in a big family from what we understand. We always told that you're in a big family now, you'll always be in a family. And we really appreciate that. As far as the young men and women that came back, you know, they'll always be in our prayers now. It's a great opportunity for the families to come together and have closure and meet up with these Marines and sailors who have served by them at war. The sights and sounds of this solemn day will not last long in people's minds, but the memories these 11 Marines shared with their family, friends, and fellow Marines will last forever. Marine Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Marine Corps Base Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii.